Hey, this is Russ. I'm back at Bussy Woods, but I'm here for a specific reason. <laughs> this video is actually for my fishing buddies, Gail and Fishing Jim. Yeah, you might know that we went uh, fishing on Sat. Well, actually, when did we go? We went on Monday, but of course, by the time you see the video, it's probably Saturday. So we were talking, we were out at uh, Lake Michigan, and of course we didn't catch anything as we usually don't. <laughs> and we were talking about where will we go for our next fishing adventures. And Gail mentioned uh, Bussy Woods, but the thing is, is uh, there's areas we can go to fish at Bussy Woods, but we don't know how to get there in the car. So I said, I will go to Bussy Woods and find where the access points are. Now I see some water off to my right. So I'm gonna go check it out. Let me see how we can do this here. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I'm gonna go up on the grass. And I see there's a whole bunch of water in front of me. All right, I'm gonna have to get off here because I can't jump a curb here. So let me angle the bike down a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so there's a body of water over on that side. To the left. Can I see that? How do we get to that? So the question really is not how do I get there? I can get there on the bike. The question really is where does this come off of? From the uh, from the cars, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ride the uh, path here a little bit to find out where this thing enters from, because we're trying to figure out where's the places to go to go fishing, and how do you get there? So obviously there's a uh, there's an entranceway here on the right side here. So all right, so. Jim and Gail, you see that overpass? We gotta come in over here, right by this overpass. So this is, I believe, Higgins. So it says, uh, let me see here. Let me move up a little bit. Angle here. It says, Bussy Lake Boating Center grows 17 to 25. So let's look this way. Way off in the distance there, if you look down there, that's where Woodfield Mall is. Now, if we come in over here, <laughs> Grove 17 to 25. I think for Jim and uh, Gail, we usually go straight down this way, right? And then we park, take our left instead. If we take a left, you're gonna see there's a body of water over here. So right as we enter, take a left. Now, we gotta walk a little bit because you gotta park your car over here. But if you park your car over here, there's water over there. So let's go up this curb. <laughs> Pulling the bike up. Ugh. Okay. I know they don't like you biking across here, but I'm not going to walk it. So. <laughs> so if we go down over here, you can see there's a whole section to fish out of. Let's try this area. Because I don't think we've ever done this before. So obviously there's a railing here. Okay. Let's see if we scare off the bird here. Is that a heron? There he goes. <laughs> All right. Let's see how deep this is. So yeah, this is a little exploration time for me. I just saw a fish jump or something. Something splashed over there. 
Can't tell how deep it is. Let's go further down this way. So yeah, there's a whole section here we could fish that we've never tried before. So let's try this. Let's try this. All right, so here's one area we can do that we've never done before. Let's get back on the regular path here. Yeah, so this is a combination for fishing Jim and Gail and me to go fishing next time. And then <laughs> I'm following my bike, bike tire tracks here. So yeah, once it's once we get in, turn left. All right, that's one. That's a new area. I've got to go back down here. All right. Let's see. I think we went up over here. Yep. Let's go back on the bike path. The problem is hopping these curbs without getting off the bike. <laughs> And a good reason to have knobby tires. <laughs> if I had bought those uh, Supercell, what's it called? Super 8, is that what it's called? Can't remember now, Originate. <laughs> Originate Supercell tires. It would be hard for me to have done what I just did because those are strictly road tires. All right, so that's one area we can go. Let's keep going. So the time right now, what time is it here? 11.23. Sun is overhead, but not totally. It's actually on an angle still. Now, here's another area. This is the area I showed last time on video. There's two sections, two sides. And if we go to the right, we can fish off of there. But like I said, there's lots of weeds over there and we know that uh, the access point to that and there's stuff over here on the left side as well the access point is uh, that one area I mentioned um, where it says boating ramps no no picnicking or whatever it said <laughs> past this point that's that's another area we turn left right at that sign that's another area. I'm going to try to find this one more, um, which I've seen other people fish at. But I think that one might have a little bit of walking involved. So we'll, we'll see. We'll just ride for a little bit. So while we're waiting to get there, um, as I mentioned before, this is all in 4K now. Everything is 4K. Shooting in 4K, editing in 4K, and uploading in 4K. So you should be able to see these videos now fully in 4K. I just have to record these things early enough so that I don't have to deal with, uh, you know, trying to get it uploaded and ready to see for the next day. That's that's not possible. So here, if you look straight ahead this way, you know, if we just simply make that right, uh, the left turn as we come up the path, um, that'll bring us into that area. Alright, so let's move on until we run into the other fishing point that I'm trying to find. So, um, 
off to the left that way is the boat ramps so we gotta we gotta make that left turn before this whole section of the boat ramps and we've got we've seen these things here before too but it's hard to access that there's not a lot of vantage points to, to fish out of a little bit further up we're gonna go over that bridge area now, we've parked over on this side before Jim will remember that so this is the area we normally park and uh, we while well, Jim walks this I take my scooter it's a little far I think for the walking I mean if you, if you fish off the bridge here I guess it's not that far but still it's a little bit of a walk so let's take a look here on the left and the right as we come up to the bridge area So this is the area that we have fished before in the past. And there's a guy out here fishing. Going slow so you can see it. There's several people fishing. I don't see any fish with them, so they're either not lucky or they're doing catch and release. So this is another area we can fish and then again parking where I pointed it out and then walking up to here. There is quite a few, but the thing is, uh, are you willing to walk it? <laughs> That's the question. Are you willing to walk it from the parking areas? All right, now, Jim, we usually turn left to get to that uh, one area where we caught that, uh, that sucker, but if we go straight this way, there is another area. So let me show you what I'm talking about. But again, you may have to walk it. Now there, there is parking, I see, off to the left side. The question is, is where does that enter from? So I will have to ride that to find out where the entrance point is. So if, we wanna, if you wanna fish here, I'll, I'll find out where the parking spots are for that. Because there's parking all the way up to here and then you can just walk over here. So if we go to the right, right in here. So yeah, Bussy has quite a few spots that you can fish from. I'm gonna just stop over here and disturb this. So you can see right here, there's a lot of fishing spots right there. Jim and I have been here before. trying to maneuver the bike without getting off the bike here. <laughs> All right, so we gotta find out where's the parking? <laughs> Where, where's the entrance point from this parking lot? A lot of gnats. Take a left or should we take a right? Let's take a left. Let's see where this comes from. This is from, this is the uh, direction I came from. Let's see where this, let's see if this thing has an entrance point we can drive in from. Okay, now theoretically, if I brought my fishing rod, I could ride my bike here. <laughs> but you guys will have to take your car here but I want to see where this comes in from it's quite a distance the bike path continues that way so I'm on the, uh, the car path and over here on the left side, I don't know if you guys can see it with this angle, on the left side, that's where Jim and I fished before. That's where I caught the sucker. So let me see where this, see where this road takes us. You know, unless you explore like this, there's no way for you to know. 
because Bussy is so large. Yeah, this is a dual purpose video. Video for all you bike guys and video for Fishing Jim and Gail. All right, this does not look like there's an entrance point. Not from what I can see. Well, maybe it was the other direction. <laughs> yeah, it had to have been the other direction because this does not go anywhere. All right, now we know. Let's go back the other way. Yeah, there's no way to know unless you explore it. That is one of the benefits of having an e-bike. I wouldn't walk this, no way. And driving it, I don't even know if I would do that. You can access areas that a car can't access if you have a bike with you. That's the nice part about it all. Yeah, so this is, uh, even though we're here at Bussy, this is a whole different experience. <laughs> at Buzzy Woods. We're usually on the bike path, which is over here on that side. All right, and over to the right again is where Jim and I usually fish out of. Not that we have much luck. We only caught that one sucker out of there and that was it. I will say this, there's a lot of potholes on this, uh, this road here. So you gotta be careful of that. All right, we're back to where we started, essentially. So these cars had to have gotten here somehow. So we gotta find where the entrance point is. So again, off to the right here, this is the area I was pointing out where the two guys were fishing over there. So these cars came in from this way. So let's see where this exit's out to. It says Region 2. I know Jim has a map. You can look up Region 2 and uh, maybe that'll give us a hint. This is part of a bike path down this way. I think coming down this way, this is where this thing exits out into the street. Um, I'm pretty sure of that now because I remember going down this bike path section which is over here, and it goes into the street level, and I said, I'm not gonna go into there. So, let me see what the name of the street is. Yeah, so the car's got to go quite a distance just to get to there. It is quite a distance. All right, it looks like... It says Bussy Woods, um, what does sign say here? All right, let me get off here. It says Bussy Lake, Beisner Road Access, Grove number 32. So let's, let's go down here a little bit. All right, so as we see, gotta get on this street here and head back. Let's see what it says. 
Got to find out the name of that street. So the road that I'm on right now is called Beisner. Beisner Road. B-E-I-S-N-E-R. I gotta get this cross street here. So there's a hospital to the left of us. Alright. The street name is um, Beasterfield Road. So you gotta get off from Beasterfield Road. I'm gonna go onto the uh, bike path just to stay safe here. So Beisner Avenue and Beasterfield Road. Take this road, all right. Let's head back again. Take this road <laughs> all the way down until you see the entrance on the left-hand side. I'll point it out again. So you see the hospital is over here on the right hand side here. If you see that you know you're on the right correct road. Amida, Amida Health it says. Village Point Church on the right side. This is just some landmarks so that you know you're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I'm throttling this whole thing. I just want to get through it quicker. So the entrance point would be right here. Um, Right over here, if you take a left into here and then follow that path all the way down, you'll run into that area. Okay, so that's another area of the fish. I still want to find it one more area. Yeah, you follow this road all the way down, you'll run into the uh, those fishing areas. But there's still one more. Got to find that one more. Yeah, it's another long video. <laughs> hey, if you guys stick it out for this whole time, I give you credit. Or if you jumped around and got to this point, that's another thing. But still, thanks for watching and continuing on. One more, we gotta hit one more. Yeah, see this is a long ride, it's a long drive, but you see up ahead, the water's up ahead. So you park over here and then we can walk over there. That's one way to get there. And also it's probably the fastest way, fastest way to get to the area where Jim and I has fish, have fished before. So this whole area here is available, but obviously it's hard in between weeds and Things. So where these guys are ahead of us, this is the area that we can fish. And, and Jim and I have done this before. We've done this. We haven't done it much, but we've done it before. And because there's a lot of walking for Jim. <laughs> I'm on the scooter. <laughs> All right, let's find that other spot. So we've come to Fussy Woods for years to fish. And we really never ex explored the other areas because we just didn't know where to go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn over here. And uh, see so if, you, if you parked even over here, all the way down here, you could walk this part here to get to the area Jim and I had fished before, or you could actually, actually you can ride up here. 
Yeah, you could ride up here and park it over here. Because uh, I'll show you. I mean, we had Jim walking this whole thing. I feel bad because <laughs> I could have parked here instead. Let me show you this. So Jim should recognize this area. You guys too, because we've done videos here before. This whole section here, okay? That's where Jim and I caught that uh, sucker here. So Jim, you could have parked here. <laughs> All that walking for you. But now we know, got to get it off uh, that, that intersection. Come in on that intersection and then park the car over here. It's easy, easier access. All right, one more place. Let's find it. Let's find it. And there is a road. I mean, if you kept driving down this road, this is where I went all the way down here. Couldn't go any further. Maybe that's the road to take. That road essentially stops to my left of here, I think. No, nope. I guess there's still, no, nope. I think it stops. Hard to tell, I think it stops over on this side. I don't think it goes through any further, but we shall see. Yeah, it stops at that point. So that road won't get you any further than this. I like having a purpose. <laughs> riding my bike and having a purpose instead of just riding in circles. keep going. I can see it ahead of us. So we cannot get to this area entering in the Beisner and Beasterfield Road. We cannot get there from here. From there. Bugs are always flying into my face. Alright, so I've shown this on the other video before, but here is the other area we can fish out of. This has a bridge, there's stuff on the left, there's stuff on the right. Alright, so you guys see it, there's people out there fishing. I'll stop here for a second. Yeah, you technically could walk down this uh, incline, but it's a heavy incline. On the left side is another story, <laughs> but I've seen people climb down there too. All right, so to get to here, we got to find out if there's an actual place to park to get here. Uh, there's a nice big bird to our right hand side, and there he goes. <laughs> yeah, that's, those are big. What are those, herons? H-E-R-O-N. path here. This is Salt Creek Trail. I've come down here before, but I don't think there's a parking down here. Let me go down here. Let's let's take a look. Because this is this would be the closest thing to that bridge. But still to me, it's a far walk. Even if there was parking here, that's a it's a far walk. Yeah, there's there's no parking or anything here. Let's see. Well, maybe still a far walk. <laughs> Alright, so cars can be over here. How did the cars get here? It's still a far walk, in my opinion, compared to those other two. I would say those other areas are better. This, this is just too much of a distance, I think, to deal with. So I'm not going to do it. Alright, head back. <laughs> Okay, I think I will stop our video at this point. 
So uh, those are all the areas that are fishable at Busty that I've ridden my bike path past and found. So let's try one of these things for you fishing guys. Anyways, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next time.